Hi guys, we're here with a couple of folks from Canada, it's Barry, and uh, we decided it was so beautiful to just slow her down and do a little bit of filming together. I'm here with a couple of characters from my hometown of Edmonton. And we're venturing through, uh, this is some new footage for you guys. We're heading through a town past Paita, and then San Cristofar. We're going to head off to uh, about three, four miles up the road to turn off inland to Las Cojuis. Uh, Las Cojuis is, uh, for all you English folks, means cashews. So we're going to be going through the town of cashews. There's a tree here that they call a La Abuelos de Cahuy, the tree of cashews, but it's not cashews nuts. And we thought you guys would really enjoy some of this footage here. So why don't you just hang on and hang around with uh, Bob and Carol and myself and we'll see if we can't find you some decent footage. You guys enjoying this or what? Sure. Oh yeah. It's a little gorgeous. We're, uh, here and it's a little bit like the foothills and that's that's my home country so I know exactly what they're talking about foothills around Calgary and uh, I'm probably gonna stop at this peak here and do a couple of steals just to give you an idea of where we're at and it's absolutely magnificent isn't it oh it's gorgeous yeah zoom back here and guys enjoy and We'll catch you on the fly a few minutes later as Barry and I'm out. Just to catch you guys up to speed, uh, we're working our way towards the turnoff. I just wanted to show you here that the infrastructure is really changing in this country. Um, a lot of road work and uh, there's signs all over from the Board of Tourism, Ministro de Turismo, about manos de la obra, hands working together. And uh, you'll even see, even out here in the country, uh, what would you say, guys? I mean, the roads, how have they been? I mean, from what you've seen, what they're doing? They're good. They're, yeah, they're, they're good. You can, you can actually see the government is doing some work. It's um, something I just thought, you know, give you a little bit of showing on this here. Like, we're uh, not all that far out, though, but we're a good 10 miles off the main highway. and. This is what's going on in the country areas here. So uh, economies, be it as they may, they started working here and, uh, oh, I'd say about four months, they'll be finished with this. And this road, I'll run you all the way to Rio San Juan through the back country. It's an incredibly beautiful ride. And uh, I know my friends here from Alberta, they, they love the country roads. It seems it was rather obvious. So we're going to spend a few days on the country roads. We're going to probably drive over a river or two later on and hopefully we get to the other side, but uh, we'll catch up with you a little bit further on down the road. Yeah, we're just passing through one of the many little farm towns here and um, well, I'd say about two miles up the road. It's going to be our turnaround for um, heading out to Las Cojuis. But it gives you an idea, there's not too many expats that are going to venture out into these little towns and what have you, although they're safe. It's just um, for me and a, and a percentage of the folks that come down to visit us and stay with us, um, they love this, the off the beaten trails and things like that. And some of the farm help out here, there's always going to be a little town, central town thing, basketball courts and things like that. And People always listening to their bachata, which is uh, very, very much the, I feel the most popular music around this. Uh, the seasoned locals, uh, they prefer the tipico and some merengue, but uh, I love the softer blends of the bachata. We're just passing by a little school now. Gives you a great angle of um, some of the little farming communities here. Okay, we're out. We'll catch you up a little further down the road. As old Barry said many times before, um, I started coming here now. It's 19 years. I haven't left the island in six without a break. And when I kind of 
tell you guys that it's going to be easy five, six years to just this region alone to learn every back road. Uh, I'm, I'm really not exaggerating. Uh, this is really nice to me. Uh, you can see here the white rock on the sides is what we call caleche. It's a bedding compound. It's also what we'll probably put under foundations many times to level the land before uh, our builders or the contractors start building houses. It's, um, it makes for an excellent bedding compound and I guess you could see by this, these the roads that we're doing, most of this is local done, some is done by Brazilian companies, uh, which we're privileged to know the owner of one because he's going to be my neighbor in my project. and. Uh, we know about six months in advance what roads are going to be paved and uh, I haven't been on this one since it's been paved but I do know the president was out here by reading the newspaper last month to oversee the work and make sure everything's coming along as it should be and uh, I guess he was quite impressed with it and it, it truly is a smooth road. Well, there we got a little guard dog there, obviously gets the right of way and um, we'll catch up with you a little bit towards the turn. Just wanted you guys to see how beautiful and unspoiled this part is. This is a, a public school, okay, a, a public school for the town. And um, we're gonna turn it off now and catch up a little bit further down the road. And does this still remind you guys of the foothills? Except for the palm trees. Yeah. Except for the palm trees. Okay. <laughs> Got you covered. All right. We'll catch you soon. <laughs> we're over here at our turn off and we're going to take this turn and we're going to end up in a small town past Las Cajuis. And after Las Cajuis, it's going to be Mata Bonita, which means pretty plants. And uh, hopefully scout around a little bit end up maybe out by Las Gordas and take the main highway home. But we'll, we'll have a little fun together, that's for sure. Let's see where this goes. It's actually very beautiful out here, very pristine. And these are peaceful folks. They, uh, they're farm. Most of them are rice farmers. A uh, big part of this area is rice. And we'll catch up when we find something interesting. There's Barry and my friends from Edmonton out for now. And I'm just going to let the camera run for a while. Oh, it's uh, really that beautiful. We got pine trees up here. Kind of a nice mix, kind of a nice mix, and uh, gosh, it's a beautiful area. Of course, what would the DR be without a baseball diamond in every two-horse town? That really is a sharp change right away now. There's a lot of pine trees which is a little bit closer to Canada. Maybe we took a wrong turn and we're heading towards no, Canada. No, so. no, I'm, still no. Seeing, I'm still seeing palm trees. <laughs> music, what would the DR be without its music? Laundry day. I'm surprised I don't see any hanging out on the uh, on the bobbed wire. That one I haven't figured out yet. That one I no, haven't figured out yet. The, you don't put them on wires. They do here. They I, do. I, I don't know why, but they do. So, they, yeah. They're very careful taking it off. Yeah. The wind won't blow it off the barbed wire. That's true. Yeah, but it makes holes. It makes, it makes holes in it, though. So I'll turn, I'll turn camera off here for a little while and uh, we'll pick it up again. I keep saying that, but it just seems that we find some beautiful sceneries. So 
why not? Hope you guys are enjoying. And uh, Barry, Bob, and Carol will catch you up real soon. Wow. That's what I'm saying about um, what I call like diverse um, ecosystems. You make a right and a left. And I'm just going slow here down this dirt road, but here we are on both sides. We're lined with pine trees now which is uh, very similar to what, you know, I would have seen years ago back uh, in my home country, of course, uh, many years ago, but it still uh, never ceases to amaze me. Every turn you take, it seems that the ecosystems or ecosystems change. And uh, very important to realize that because it's a big reason where we get our diversity, altitude and Land terrain varies dramatically in this country, but that's good for all of us folks that like a variety of different fruits and vegetables all from uh, the same basic area. It seems to work good, and we'll be with you up a little on further down the path. Bye. Yeah, we're just taking it easy here in the shade for a few minutes, scored a couple of bottles of water from a little store much needed and um, I'd say we're not all that far from uh, Mimosa and uh, then we'll probably cut across a couple of rivers and uh, it'll head us back to uh, Mata Bonita but it's about um, well right now it's uh, 214 it's going to be all the way around about uh, by the time we're back home about a four hour ride and it gives these guys a good idea of uh, some of the natural beauty here and we're pulled in the shade because uh, Carol's on the sunward side of the passenger of the truck and she's getting fried but there's not much I can do about it it's not as if uh, I have many other roads to choose from no that's fine but um, I'd say we're three of the whitest people they ever seen <laughs> And uh, starting to get more into a lot of rivers, so I know we're getting near Mato Bonita and Mimosa. All right, so we're going to head on down and keep going a bit further. And I'm sure once Larry the Tech Guy puts all this together, you're going to be in for a nice view. It's uh, really is quite a place, and just a little bit of congested traffic there pass by. <laughs> and uh, we'll catch you guys soon. It's uh, absolutely a beautiful ride, if I say so myself. The lushness and, you know, the animals and everything. Uh, these good folks are definitely, definitely self-sustaining people. Yep. I, I don't think there's uh, much argument there. I mean, would you guys agree from what I you're... I agree, yeah. Uh, when, you know, when bureaucracies and nations start really issuing, uh, everybody has their own thoughts. And uh, I've always been one to say, I never say I'm right, but I can guarantee you we're going to be affected one heck of a lot less than even the so-called survival buffs in first world nations. I just know what I know from my research, and I think some of the people that come out to visit us uh, tend to see it with their own eyes. There's literally food everywhere you look here. So, uh, Bob, Carol, Barry are going to catch you a little bit further on down the road when something else of interest comes. And uh, we cooled off a bit, and we'll keep on going. Bye.